guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna be doing another low carb recipe for our low carb recipe section of our channel this is gonna be uh, cauliflower fried rice we're gonna be using the cauliflower um, instead of the rice and we're gonna be using a whole head of cauliflower first we want to take these leaves off of it and um, the stems and then we're gonna cut it up into pieces and uh, run it through the food processor. I'm going to cut it down the middle. Cauliflower is a really, really great vegetable as far as um, nutrition and it has a bunch of vitamin K, vitamin C, and is very, very low um, in carbohydrates. It's also loaded with antioxidants. I kind of forgot the lid to the food processor, so I'm gonna to have to make sure that I keep my hand up here so it doesn't cauliflower and go flying everywhere. Basically, this is how you want your cauliflower to be, kind of like rice grains. And then you can separate them into a bowl, run them into the smaller batches because if you put too much then you're gonna end up your rain and then it won't be good. Okay guys so here we have the finished product the cauliflower as you can see it's like little grains of um, rice and basically we're gonna set that aside now and we're gonna get uh, we have two cloves of garlic and one third of a cup of uh, diced uh, red onion. I'm going to take, take our skillet over here on high heat and we're going to drop just a, about a half a tablespoon of macadamia nut oil. You could use coconut oil, uh, sesame seed oil, whatever oil you have um, around to do it. Next we're going to drop our garlic, uh, it's about two cloves of minced garlic into the oil. And then we're going to drop our quarter, a third of a cup of red onion. Then we're going to drop two beaten eggs into here. And I have about two small summer squash um, quartered and um, into small pieces. I'm going to drop those in next. And normally you would put it in a, a low heat uh, burner, but I only have one burner here. So we're going to set it aside for about 5 to 10 minutes to steam while we um, saute our chicken. Okay, so while our cauliflower is um, steaming a bit, um, in order to get it a little bit more uh, tender with our veggies, we're going to take the chicken and we're going to put it through some um, cornstarch. So we're going to take the chicken and put it through some cornstarch while the broccoli is steaming. Uh, the reason why I do this like this is so the chicken won't uh, boil with with the veggies. Um, it won't it won't get that that sogginess um, from the from the vegetables because there's going to be a, a bit of water coming off 
of those vegetables with, with the cauliflower and I will drain that um, before adding the chicken. So, and then we'll add our soy sauce and then we'll finish the stir fry process. Okay, so basically you want to get your, your the chicken nice and covered in, in the cornstarch. This is just a light coating, it's not going to add a lot of calories. Okay, so we're going to get a skillet on high. I'm going to drop about another half a tablespoon of macadamia nut oil. Let it, let it get hot. And then we're going to drop our, our chicken with cornstarch in the pan. Okay guys, so when the chicken starting to get golden on the outside, it's about three quarters of the way cooked through. I'm gonna drop it in our in our fried rice. Pass it around. I'm gonna cover it for about another five to seven minutes. Okay guys, so after those five or seven minutes, I'm gonna add the last ingredients, about four tablespoons of soy sauce. And actually about three tablespoons of soy sauce. And this is uh, Kiko Man Less Sodium Soy Sauce. I'm gonna add some chopped scallions about three tablespoons and two tablespoons of diced sun-dried tomatoes and mix all that together mix it all around and you're pretty much done with your cauliflower fried rice. This will make about six servings, six to eight servings, depending on how big your, your servings are. There you have it, guys. This is the finished product. I like my um, my fried rice. Usually, I put some crushed red, red pepper on it, so I'll sprinkle that on last for a little bit of heat. If you guys don't like crushed red pepper, you don't have to add it, but this is. A great way to stay on your low carb diet and you still feel like you're eating fried rice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and remember use coupon code YouTube um, on just that muscle.com to get discounts on all your all your supplements.